But this guy was a huge donor to the Democratic Party, read up that he gave over like a half a million dollars uh, to 40 different candidates since 2000, lured men to his house, usually the homeless, uh, drug addicted, or escorts, and, and he would drug them. And he, two guys actually died in his house and another one escaped. What else can you tell us? Well, first of all, he's given over a million dollars to political candidates, mostly all Democrats. He used to be a Republican who lived in Arizona, and he moved to West Hollywood um, and turned into a Democrat. And he is a Democratic major donor. Um, he was known for being an animal rights activist and an LGBT activist. That was sort of his, um, his day look, right? And then his evening um, activities included um, finding black gay men who were maybe homeless, who maybe worked as escorts, who maybe um, were in need in some way, and using his money to get them to come over. And when they would come over, he would um, tell them things like, you know, if you let me shoot meth into you, I'll give you more money. And the more you allowed him to do this, the more money he would give you. Mm -hmm. Um, and this has gone on for decades. Um, the only reason it came to um, the attention of everyone now is because Jamel Moore died in July of 2017. He was 26 years old. Ed Buck flew him here from Houston, and within 24 hours, he was dead. And um, when that happened, um, his mother was asking people to look into it because she knew that something wasn't right. And what we found was his diary. And in his diary, he had written, you know, Ed Buck got me hooked on meth. Ed Buck forced me to do meth, um, in his own words. Um, so we knew something was wrong. And people didn't want to cover the story because the intersection is too much for a lot of people to deal with. You know, black, gay, white, gay, West Hollywood, Democratic donor. Um, you know, you have the intersection of, of race and class. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and then th that privilege crept in there. And everybody wanted to give Ed Buck the benefit of the doubt because he's this upstanding white gay man who lives in West Hollywood. When Jamel died, um, I remember when Jamel died that the sheriffs came over and Ed Buck just said, oh, I didn't know that he was on drugs. I didn't know he was in here doing drugs. And the sheriffs were like, oh, okay, it's just another overdose because meth is a huge epidemic, not just in L.A. County, but around the country, right? And we mm -hmm. have a lot of overdoses, a lot in L.A. County, more than makes the news, okay? Right. So they just assumed it was another one of those. Um, and like I said, lo and behold, we found his, his journal and it told the story. And so when I started writing about it and investigating it, um, other young black men started reaching out to me and saying, hey, I know this guy, he's up to no good. You know, this is what he did to me. Here are my photos, here are my videos.